I love a bottle of red, a glass of red. When I come home from work, I love to relax with a glass of red wine. I love red wine. I even see on dating profiles, I love my red wine. You know, what, why do restaurants even carry white? I mean, if anything, sometimes the people will drink a glass of Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio, but that's about it. There's thousands of different, hundreds of thousands of different white grape varietals, only red, red, because people are looking at it the wrong way, and I want to teach you to look at it the white way. Okay, my name is Larry Baker. Hi, how are you? I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. I am a certified level two sommelier and senior wine and spirit specialist here at ABC Fine Wine and Spirits in Sunrise, Florida. We have to look more at wine if, as, as not just like something you drink to wind down, something to take the edge off a rough day. It can be used that way, but so could, uh, so could in legal marijuana state. You know, wine in Europe, the, that style is, is supposed to be, that, that culture rather, is to, 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 to pair it with food. To pair it with food, to match it with food, it's something they automatically have with lunch, sometimes with breakfast too, with dinner, during the day. It's always paired with salamis or something that's in France, especially in Italy, also everywhere. Wine is for food. They're telling me this is what I'm eating, this is what I want to drink to go with it. But in America, it's all pop, pour, and just pour myself a glass of red, and that's it. And we have to give some credit to the white wine, and I think you'll expand if you start thinking about pairing it. And it's not about white wine with fish and red wine with me it's about the preparation if you look at something like cheeses goat cheeses or or, or fresh cheeses like mascarpone or mozzarella or even the the, the, the creamy cheeses like uh, brie or the camembert, bears uh, uh, or or even the nutty cheeses like nutty gruyere cave age gruyere from Switzerland 90% uh, of the recommendations are going to be for white and not for red they just seem to be more food friendly no oak let's leave the oak out of the picture just something crisp good as Acidity that's good for food and uh, something light and crisp and let's talk about something I'm not going to talk anything about Chardonnay's Pinot Grigio or any of those styles here uh, the first wine I want to talk about is from down in Campania this is made, made by Tenuta Cavalier Pepe Tenuta de Pepe in the area of Campania um, specifically in a region around uh, Tarassi and Avellino in those areas in the hill Tufo is uh, the area, the hills, a very mountainous area. It's the volcanic ash, the soil there where Mount Vesuvius erupted the volcano, so you get lots of mineral. It used to be a Greek grape, that's what Greco, Greco di Tufo. It's a DOCG government controlled area, but wonderful crispness, wonderful acidity, uh, wonderful minerality that you get because of the volcanic soil. It just makes my tongue tingle every time I have it. Such a fun, food wine that just makes, I could think of a hundred different food that this would go with, but also not a bad wine to drink if you're just watching Netflix. But I want to think about the food pairings, uh, even just a, a simple roast chicken or shrimp or seafood or any kind of light fish, a Dover sole, uh, Chilean sea bath, great with uh, a wonderful fresh squeeze of citrus and minerality for a Greco de Tufo. <clears throat> Groovy time, we've talked about that in another video but we talked about it, I believe, uh, from New Zealand, but they make it in mostly Austria, Gruner Veltliner. This is the Hopler, the Gruner Veltliner 2016. Um, a great price of $14.99. I love groovies, we call them in the business. Groovies are such fun to pair with salty food, especially like a spiral slice ham, um, it pairs well with lamb. It pairs well with seafood. It's got a little white pepper spice to it. it tastes like biting into a fresh apple. Very crisp apple and tingling and spiciness and floral note. Just a wonderful, great, inexpensive, $14.99. And you drink an Austrian Gruner Veltliner. Ask for a Gruner. Uh, good restaurants, if you eat, uh, even like uh, uh, sausages, kielbasa, uh, spy, you know, smoky stuff so like that. Gruner Veltlin is a better pairing than just about any red wine you could think. Uh, Austrian food, of course, it's a given, uh, perfect. Uh, another Austrian grape, which they do very well in uh, Oregon, nothing to do with Pinot Grigio. They're kind of related, to tell you the truth, but this is called Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc has a little bit more fruit forward than a Pinot Gris. I like this style of Austrian uh, at, at, at $15.99 a bottle. I love this style. Again, no oak in any of this stuff, all stainless steel fermented. Some people even use uh, 
um, concrete vats in Europe and all that. No oak to influence, no vanilla, no heaviness, just light, crisp. But you get a little flavors of lychee, of ripe pears, Bartlett pears. I like Oregon Pinot Blancs as well. They're really delicious. Uh, anything that starts with Pinot, you know I like from Oregon Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Noir. But on the white side, Pinot Blanc is a great grape to try. But I think Austrians do it really well. So do the Germans. Uh, a really great wine with, again, spicy sausages, uh, a lot of different cheeses, uh, salads, fish, seafood. There's a hundred different preparations uh, that you can, uh, of food that you can use for a Pinot Blanc. When we think of the area in Piemonte, we think of uh, Nebbiolo, we think of reds like Barolo uh, or the towns, it's all Nebbiolo. Barbaresco, uh, Gattinara, we think of Barbera, we think of Dolcetto, but my literal favorite white from Italy is from an area called Roero. Roero, which is here, as you can see, Roero is a town, Arnace, Arnace is not Desi Arnace, he was in I Love Lucy. This is Arnace, the grape varietal. It's a little expensive, it's about 21 bucks a bottle, even on sale. We have guests that repeatedly buy it. I love the floral notes. If you want to walk through a garden of fresh white flowers, Arnace will deliver that. It is such a pretty white to have with so many different meals, uh, uh, even with a truffled risotto, uh, a risotto, a heavy dish, creamy Parmesan, and then you get the earthiness there and you match it with the acidity to cut through that richness, uh, this could be great. Millions of cheeses like uh, Taleggio from that region up in Piemonte, a washed rind cheese. It would be too funky to pair it with some of the red grape. You can do it, but this is just so pretty. The fruit, and again, the floral notes on this, there's nothing like it. Or it's worth every penny of this $21 bottle of wine. I think we keep it cold in our fridge here at the Sunrise location. When I say Chenin Blanc, Chenin Blanc is a grape that is known in the Loire Valley, uh, specifically in the area of Vouvray. And in Vouvray, they usually make it in a style that is called demi-sec, which means semi-sweet. It's an off-dry style. So we have the, the Chateau Mon Contour that we're selling. We're, we're out of one of our, my favorite, La Foster Harangue. Hopefully, uh, attention ABC, please, we need that one. But this is great too. This is a great demi-sec off-dry for people, 100% Chenin Blanc, but made in off-dry style, Loire Valley, the actual village is Vouvray, and you get beautiful apricots, peaches, nectarines, um, but not like overly sugarified, not 5% alcohol wine that you're drinking as white wine, just a great thing. A lady just came in tonight, said I'm making something extremely spicy, what do I need? I need a, uh, do I buy a red? Do I buy a white? I said, not only a white, you need a demi-sec white because the sweet offsets the heat. Not sweet wine. This is no Moscato. I'm not talking sweet, sweet. I'm just talking semi-sweet, demi-sec. Beautiful balance between the heat and the sweet. That's what she bought a couple of bottles for her Valentine's Day. But then again, the same grape from the Baden Horse family, Cicator. This is South African, uh, where Chenin Blanc is usually made in that same style, but this is a dry, a dry Chenin Blanc, the opposite of the Chenin Blanc from Vouvray. This is, I tasted this wine a few weeks ago, I just loved it. That you can taste some stone fruits in there, but a little bit of honey in the background, but more of a crisp, clean Chenin Blanc with a really good acidity to make it food friendly, but nothing to do with the Vouvray or the sweetened types of, or the American versions of Chenin Blanc where they're pouring sugar in those big jugs of Chenin Blanc that you see. So there you go, you got two different styles of the same grape. You got Chenin Blanc as a white wine, very food friendly for spicy food. And I wouldn't go spicy on the dry version of the Chenin Blanc from South Africa. This is a whole different style. Boy, make a couple of rock Cornish hens with this Chenin Blanc and maybe uh, a, a couscous stuffing with some dried apricot and you would have like a, a, a match made in heaven. There's a hundred things, anything that has a little bit of richness to it, this Chenin Blanc. You need something to contrast. You just can't eat rich food and then have a rich buttery Chardonnay. It's just too much buttery, just like you can't have a sweet dish and have uh, a, a wine that is just sweeter than the actual dessert. It's just sugar overload, balance contrasting flavor to to make the food taste better and the food makes the wine taste better think that way remember we're not just watching Netflix here 
Um, of course, Gewürztraminer. I think I've talked about this grape before. I talked about it. Nothing goes better with uh, Thai food or Mexican food or Indian curries and things like that. Definitely an off, Gewürztraminer is an off style. Uh, it'll always, always smell. If somebody walks up to you on the street right now and says, hi, here's a glass of white wine. I want you to smell it. I want you to taste it. I want you to tell me what that grape is and I'll give you a million dollars cash right there. If it smells like Valentine's Day, which you had last week, like those dozen roses, hopefully, or even one rose that somebody sent you, uh, you always say Gewürztraminer your and you'll never be wrong. Gewürztraminer always smells like roses if it's not too cold and you get some lychee flavors you get all kinds of beautiful fruits in here this is a 9.99 on sale bottle of wine the ones from Alsace are a little but this is Germany from Valkenburg I love it I know my partner loves these kind of wines so here we didn't talk about Chardonnay we didn't talk about just drinking wines to relax we talked about all these different grapes and there's hundreds of more that you should think about when doing it European style. Think about wine, what am I gonna cook with, what am I gonna eat with, not just sitting on the couch and, and playing online video games, all right? So, wanna find out more information about any of these white wine, or just even search white wines to find some others that you can get information, go to our website, www.abcfws. Dot com. There's information. You can always reach out to me if you would just join my blog. Like over, almost 3,000 people have followers. I've got calls from, from Paris today asking me to help them. You can get my information, how to contact me, by just putting your email and saying follow this blog. Uh, again, think about white wines uh, and remember that wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you and me. And uh, Come on the white side for a while.